Hi, my name is Fede and I'm a Super Value Italian Food Ambassador. Today I'm going to show you some recipe inspired by my country as a part of the Italian food and wine sale at Super Value. I'm going to show you now how to make pollo alla cacciatora or chicken hunter style to me and you. So it's a classic Tuscan recipe made using uh, Super Value fresh Irish chicken. Then we're gonna have some olive, capers, garlic, onion, peppers, and Super Value signature taste passata. It's really rich, really delicious to, to eat and very easy to prepare. I'm, let me show you. The first thing we're gonna do is chop an onion. Red onion have a slightly more flavor. Perfect, so then we're going to get garlic, one clove per person. And now we're going to add some of the olive, both black and green. These are also being picked up by the deli counter at Super Value. And I'm not going to cut them too fine because I like the texture. If you want, you can also break them like that. I like them like that because you get a lot more of the olive, but it's up to you. Now we're going to chop our pepper. Nothing too perfect. The idea Italian food is it's not really about the technique. There's a lot to do with the quality of the ingredients. When you have something that is delicious, you don't need to do much to it. That's why our cuisine is famous all around the world for its taste and its simplicity. There we go, pretty much square inch. And we're gonna put it in here. Now we're gonna coarsely chop some capers as well. Again, essential in Italian cuisine, incredibly well with meat and fish, but also with tomato, as we're gonna try in a second. So I'm gonna get my frying pan now. I'm gonna add a good glug of uh, Super Value Signature Taste Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Olive oil, it really is essential in Italian. I'm gonna put it on a medium heat. So now we're going to add the carrot, celery, the onion. Now, I'm not going to put the garlic yet, cause if garlic burns, it really does affect the overall taste of the dish. So I'm going to get these guys get to know each other a little bit. The smell already is incredible, three ingredients. Now we're ready to add our other ingredients, the olives and the peppers. Then we add our capers and our garlic. You're gonna give it another couple of minutes on the pan and then we're going to add our chicken breast and our Super Value Signature Taste Passata. So now we're going to add a bit of salt. I would go very easy with the salt because the capers are quite salty themselves as well as the olives. So you can always add a bit of salt, but you can't take it out. So just a very small sprinkle and then we're just going to put some black pepper. And now we're going to add our chicken. So now that the chicken is getting a bit of color, we're going to add our passata. I would say about 250 to 300 grams. There you go, beautiful. As you're getting all this lovely flavor getting together, just going to reduce the heat a little bit. A little bit of salt for our passata. So as the chicken is cooking away, we're just going to start chopping some of the fresh herbs, the rosemary and the parsley. Fresh herbs go for last, dried herbs go first. Now that our chicken is perfectly cooked, we're gonna put it some sauce at the bottom of the plate. Then we're going to add our chicken sprinkle of rosemary and parsley. It's very simple, easy to make, easy to eat. Enjoy. For the chicken cacciatore dish that I just made for you guys, I would really recommend the Ferro 13 Sauvignon Blanc called Hashtag. It has some soft citrus and a bit of white flour that would go really well with the chicken. And it's also a guest wine for Super Value Italian food and wine sale. One thing that is really lovely about this wine as well, you can write your own hashtag here and then give it to your best friend. Like I would write hashtag Buonissimo.